it's called Super Tuesday for a reason, right? It's, it's pretty super. Uh, it's, it's, it's the one first day where a majority of Americans that will be participating in the uh, Democratic primary will have a chance to have their voices heard. Following Biden's convincing win in South Carolina, where he was propelled to victory by the state's predominantly African-American electorate, the focus now shifts to Super Tuesday, where nearly a third of all delegates up for grabs will be awarded. Candidates have spent the weekend canvassing many of the 15 states that will decide their fates in tomorrow's primaries. Tuesday will also mark the first time Michael Bloomberg's name will appear on the ballot, with his ad spending exceeding $410 million. Some have said the former New York City mayor has bought omnipresence in the Super Tuesday states following his heavily criticized debate performance, the results will show if money really does talk. You cannot make sense of the money that's being spent in this race. You can't judge it. What does $450 million spent by Michael Bloomberg mean? Who knows what that, I mean, you just don't know what that means. This race is not only an anomaly, it's crazy. It's crazy that we have Michael Bloomberg spending that amount of money. Despite winning the Iowa caucus and placing a close second in New Hampshire, Mayor Pete Buttigieg failed to pick up momentum as the race continued into more diverse states and yesterday announced he was ending his presidential campaign. I am making the difficult decision to suspend my campaign for the presidency. I will no longer seek to be the 2020 Democratic nominee for president, but I will do everything in my power to ensure that we have a new Democratic president come January. Senators Amy Klobuchar and Elizabeth Warren have also failed to ride a wave of support that rolled in following convincing debate performances and have since found themselves consistently in the middle of the pack. Experts suggest Tuesday's results could force them to end their campaigns too if their delegate tally does not rise and money dwindles. You cannot raise money if you don't win. You cannot raise money unless you do something super on Super Tuesday. The two biggest prizes tomorrow, California and Texas, with a combined delegate total of 643, have seen the most activity with candidates ensuring to make themselves known not only on the airwaves but also in person. Following Senator Ted Cruz's tight win in Texas in the 2018 midterm, pundits believe Texas is becoming more of a swing state and could be a key battleground to beating Trump. Who wins here on Tuesday is something to watch. We saw this spectacular increase in Democratic voter turnout, particularly among people who had not voted in a midterm. And we were wondering if this would hold up, not just in 2020, but in the primary. And there's some evidence of it.